A man bought a corpse that had been dead for three days at a high price. He hurriedly took it to the hospital for rescue, falsely claiming it was his father and insisting on saving him at any cost. Without a second thought, the doctors pushed the body into the operating room, only to find that it had already cooled. Next, the doctors' actions were shocking. The doctors and nurses were busy going in and out, as they had already grasped the family's psychology. Seeing the man's nervousness, they knew he would spare no expense to save his father. After a while, the doctor handed a list to the man, asking him to buy medicine from a designated pharmacy. The man quickly went to the specified location spending two months' salary to get two bags of medicine. He then handed it to the nurse and anxiously inquired about his father's condition, but they asked him to wait outside patiently. His father was undergoing surgery and they would inform him of any developments. Inside the operating room the doctors were chatting and laughing while the nurse took the unopened medicine back to the pharmacy. Then the doctor came out and asked him to pay the surgical fee in just eight hours they deceived the man into paying exorbitant fees nearing a million until he couldn't afford it. The doctor then solemnly informed him that the rescue had failed and the patient had passed away. The man begged the doctor to save his father but the doctor claimed they had done their best. When the man presented a death certificate from the hospital and questioned the doctor can't you save the dead? The doctor impatiently swallowed the certificate but was exposed by the man who then handed over another startling the doctor. The man's purpose was to expose the hidden side of this corrupt hospital and seek justice for innocent people and his wife who died five years ago. He had a gentle wife in a happy home, but shortly after moving into a new house, it collapsed. His pregnant wife died in the rubble, leaving him devastated. Upon investigation the house didn't meet building standards and was constructed due to bribery between corrupt builders and officials. When he tried to report them he found the officials were colluding with the corrupt builders ignoring his complaints. Frustrated he decided to take matters into his own hands. He confronted the corrupt builder, seeking revenge for his wife and the innocent. But he was attacked and left for dead. Luckily, a passing student found and saved him. From then on he vowed to seek justice for his wife and others. He collected evidence in the hospital daily getting close to families of patients witnessing heartbreaking scenes. Anyone entering this hospital was manipulated into endless tests and buying unknown medicines until their families were financially drained. The hospital's owner was the son of the corrupt builder making it untouchable. The man exposed their conspiracy and the hospital paid him to keep quiet. He gave the money to the victim's families and exposed the hospital's corruption. The public swarmed the hospital and the owner armed threatened them, but the crowd turned on him and he accidentally shot himself ending the tyranny. At the corrupt builder's birthday, everyone wore his masks giving the man a chance to abduct him. After dealing with him, the man surrendered to the police, his arrest sparked outrage among the Indian people, showing solidarity with him. As the situation escalated, he came out and gave them one last lesson before sacrificing himself for his ideals.